Awino. Or is that Nyanja? There's no Awino. Abuino. No. <laughs> welcome back to our channel if you're new to our channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in with us so in today's video we are going to be doing a challenge so well it's not really a challenge it's just more of like something fun we thought of doing so as you know obviously I'm from Zambia so I do speak um, a different language Apart from obviously I speak English, but I have another language that I speak, which is a Bemba. Over the years, um, Didi has picked up um, a couple of things from my language whenever I speak, whether it's on the phone or to the kids. Mm. So I thought it would be quite fun to see how much is actually learned of <laughs> my language. So today, in a way, I am going to be teaching him how to speak Bemba. So. The title of this video is basically teaching my half Scottish husband how to speak Bemba, which is a Zambian language. So yes, yeah, so let's get into today's video. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So I don't actually have a plan for this video, so I'm just gonna throw out like the, it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw out like the most random stuff that I use mostly in the house, and then see. So it should um, be easy then. Yeah, hopefully, and see like what you can say or what you can answer. So the first one is a mulishani. So you have to tell me, you have to answer me and then tell me what it means. So the first one is mulishani. <laughs> ah, we know. Ah, what? <laughs> ah, we know. Or is that Nyanja? There's no ah, we know. Ah, we know. No. Or maybe it's because you, you think that I'm saying a wino because I'm like, ah, we know. Yeah, what is it? When it's really, it's just we know, which means we know. We know. Not we, but it's like spelled like B W. So the B is silent. So it's like we know. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah. Yeah, I got it right. So what does that mean? Well, Ishani means how are you? And we know is I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Yay! No, we know doesn't mean uh, I'm fine. Ah, right? yeah. right. so <laughs> if you want guys. to say we know, just means I'm fine. Mm. But if you want to say, uh, if you want, the way you said it, mm. you have to say we know natotela, which means thank you. Nga iwe, iwe means you. You, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. So next time when I ask you, you have to say that. <laughs> But well done, at least you got that one right. So the next one is Iwe. Iwe is you. <laughs> when do I normally use that one? When you're annoyed. <laughs> I'm one of the boys. Yeah. What do I always say? Not thought on my feet. Look at you. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> or to fill in my feet. What does that mean? I don't know if I slap you or something like that. <laughs> Say it again. I want to hear it again. Na toroma pi. It's it's <laughs> na la kutorama pi. I prefer my version. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah. laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Well, you got that one right, and you he added a bit of spice. So exactly. Well done. You got that so one. So it's right. all about spicing it up. Okay. So the next one is nindwala. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Nindwala. I'm something. Mm. Thinking of a white Christmas. No. <laughs> no, it's something like that you would normally tell somebody, like how you're feeling. It's like, um, Nindwala. Fine. Nindwala. I'm fine. No, but that's some we know. Right. So what would be the opposite if you say somebody doesn't... I'm not fine. Yeah, but it's not literally, it's like... I'm upset. No. Do you, are you, have you felt that one? Yeah. Ninguala means I'm sick. Alright. 
Yeah. I've never heard that one. Yeah. Maybe because I don't really use it that much. <laughs> no okay. one's ever sick. Yeah, luckily. Okay, so the next one is Naleku Temwa. Yeah, I love you. Yeah! <laughs> well done! <laughs> <laughs> Wing that one. <laughs> See, you know it! See, well done. Okay, so mm. the next one is. Um, Ndeya ku market. I'm going to the market. Yay! You are good! This is shocking. I'm fluent. I'm surprised how much he knows. He actually knows a lot. Okay, how about um Ndeya ku toilet? I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> Make <laughs> sure you don't break it though. <laughs> that was good. Um, what else? Um, right, the next one is Ningu Fuen Sala. Say that again. Ningo fo in sala. Hmm. What in what context? Context. <laughs> so it's so you want me to explain it a little bit so that you can understand. Well, so but like, not giving away too yeah, much. Yeah, it's like it's like a feeling, and you want action. So like you feel it, and then you want you need to do something about it. So you tell somebody, or the kids will tell you, like, "Oh, daddy, ningo." Can you do something for me? Yes, no, it's not that, but it's mm. like a feeling. So the kids normally will tell you that, or even I can tell you, but it's normally like mm. kids because you want to do that for them, like quickly, or say if a child comes back from school and then they're like, Ningu oh, Fuen Salah. Make me food? Yeah, you're close, but yeah, like basically, Something I'm hungry. Eat. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> well done. <laughs> It's pretty good, you know. So what nine minutes in? So that was that was quite a lot. I think yeah. I'll throw in a last one because we want to make this. Actually, no, let's make it a bit longer. I'm gonna throw in another one because we want to <laughs> get this to ten minutes at least. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in another one. Mm. Um, this one, I think I'm just gonna say a couple of words that I think I say a lot. Muele sa. What does that mean? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All these words I use a lot. Okay. Um Ndifia we know. Um are you okay? No, no, no. No, no. For the opposite, like when you're talking about yourself. I'm not okay. No, no, no. Ndifia we know. We know. Remember what does it yeah, mean? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that so, like, if somebody know. asks you, like, you can say we know, yeah. or you, like, that means you're just saying fine. Yeah. But if you want to be like, I am, you yeah. say ndifie, which means me, we know, right. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, Bambuya. Grand. Uh, yeah, well done. So, I'm going to just keep throwing these out because we use them. Wali. Wali is something you eat. Yeah. I yeah. don't know what. You That's as it. far as it goes. Is like, is it not like a fufu thing? Yeah, yeah, cornmeal. Yeah, yeah. cornmeal, all right. <laughs> See? What else? I'm just going to keep throwing inama. Yeah, I don't know. Inama. Is that another food? Mm. Inama. Oh, is it roasted nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we roasting nuts already? I don't know. You're always <laughs> roasting nuts in this house. No, no. Inama is meat. Oh, me too. Right. How about in coco? Coco, yam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're in a different planet. <laughs> no, not coco, yam. Yeah. Oh, chocolate. No. All right, no. In coco, what, 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 what animal makes that sound? What, what? In coco. Chicken. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in Zambia, but they don't make that. Yeah, they do make that sound. It's like, just... co -co 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 -co. Ah. you get one? Yeah. So, Zambians are too lazy. They were like, we're not going to name this. Anything. We're <laughs> just, just going to be like, co -co -co -co. even a cow is like, inama. No, yeah. actually, a lot of Southern African people, they call them meat, inama. Oh, so that's why you get nyama choma. Yes, yeah, that's what nyama. it means. Yeah, ah, yeah, you get ah, it now. See, you've been enjoying all that meat, but you don't even know what it ah, was. <laughs> food is a universal language. <laughs> exactly. You don't need to know anything else. Okay, what else? Mm. Um, I'm going to throw in one last one. I'm going to make it a bit hard for you. Okay. 
but this one mm. is one I use a lot with the kids. Right. You I'm going to slap you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh. Yay! Oh my god. I actually I'm surprised that you did that well because I didn't expect well to be honest, it's been so long, uh. like you know, it's easy to pick up those things, you know, like because they're the most common yeah. things I use. But that's know? interesting, though. Like, I pretend I don't understand, so at least you know if someone's talking about you in a different language. It's okay. I, I, I'm not gonna talk about you anyway. <laughs> it's always good things anyway. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I mean, it's good though. Like, at least it's it's quite nice on yeah. my part. Like, it makes me feel good. Like, you know, he's taken. Even though I I don't really sit down like and teach him stuff. Like, he's mm. naturally just picked it up. Which is a good thing because not a lot well, of people I'm good, are I'm interested. I'm good at picking up languages I may not like fully speak, but I understand. Yeah, because I'm. That's what I'm saying. So like even like Bemba, how mm. you know a lot like these are basics and you pretty much know yeah. it. Like you, even if you were stuck in Zambia, you can literally like say something like, yeah, "Where's the toilet?" Yeah, where's the toilet <laughs> or food? Like I want in yeah. cocoa, I want nyama. Like you can say those things, you know, like in the way. I mean, obviously they speak English in, in Zambia. I'm just. You know, yeah. saying like I went to the most went, remote parts of Zambia. Exactly, they would be able to like um Understand help you. Me. But I'm really surprised, and I'm I'll actually blend in though. proud of you. You mm. <laughs> now we're taking it a bit too. Far. <laughs> you never know. You might blend in actually, because they'll be like, ah, ka Zambia naka. come on me. Right. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, how about umwa me? What does that mean? Kaukut. <laughs> so yeah, cow foot, yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? Umwa oh. ume and then umwa nakashi. So it's two things. White man. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But speaking of white man, I'm gonna say that. Now. <laughs> speaking of white man. Umwa ume and then you have umwa nakashi. Umwa ume. Alright. Umwa nakashi. So you have umwa ume. And then you also have umwa nakashi. What does that mean? I don't know. You have a man. All right. And, and then you have know. a woman. So umwa ume oh, okay. is man. And then you, you you hear how it sounds similar. Umwa ume. Yeah. Umwa nakashi. You know how woman is like got man. So mm. you see how it's umwa ume and All then right. umwa nakashi. Um, yeah. But speaking of oibo, we <laughs> say in, in, in your, obviously in your language is oibo, oibo. But for us, it's muzungu. Oh yeah, I know that one. Yeah, Muzungu, yeah. So maybe you might get that one a lot when you're in Zambia. Muzungu, muenda kuti muzungu. And I'll be looking around like, where, where, where? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, anyway, that was actually really fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, Bemba one on one. Yeah, exactly. That was good. He's actually pretty good. I'm surprised. He's probably his Bemba's probably better than mine. <laughs> but yeah. So if you enjoyed this video guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to leave us a comment if you enjoy this kind of content and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload. Of course. Yeah. And also don't forget to follow us on Instagram at KDDTravel. We post quite frequently on there so make sure you're following us on there as well. 